Mighty Allah speaks after 15. Is it 15? It's 25 plus. So, Igbos were killed by suspected headsmen in a boy. See what he said. You know, yesterday we brought you up to speed that um, a number of people were, I mean, their life were graciously taken away from them in a boy state. Thanks to the governor who has sold his state and his people to the Fulanese. You know, God is watching. There are times that um, man may not be able to do you anything because of the position you've come to occupy or you've come to be in. However, you cannot hide from God. You can do that cleverly with a man and get away with it, but you cannot do that with God. You know, the blood of these people are upon you who have allowed this atrocity to happen. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. My ATLR speaks after... 15 Igbos were killed by suspected headsmen in Eboin. See what they said. The Honorable Governor of Eboin State, is this the Honorable? David Umayi expressed shock, uh, don't worry, <laughs> and amazement shortly after 15 Igbo residents from his state were attacked by a it's not alleged, though, Fulani headsmen. He complained bitterly, saying that he has always called for peace to reign between headers and farmers in Eboin. But some group of wicked headers sought to take the life of some innocent people. However, Maetiala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria have just sent a strong warning and advice to the governor of Ebony State as regarding the killing experience in his region. The Maetiala Breeders Association have sent a strong message to the governor of Ebony State and the federal government stating that these Fulani headsmen should be punished immediately. The zonal chairman representing the group in Southeast revealed that via Daily Post News today, as they expressed their deep condolences to the families and relatives who were killed. The chairman therefore urged the security operative to conduct a thorough investigation in order to find out the perpetrators of those killings in a boy state. They said we, they have to be brought to justice and all that the government decide to do to them, we are in support. This is what we need to do in order to see that Nigeria grow economically and we can live together peacefully. They are still talking about living together peacefully. That is their aim and achievement. It doesn't matter what happened to the people. The most important thing is that the people are set full and needs to live among them, whether they like it or not, whether they kill them or not. They must live with them peacefully. This is what we want to see in nigeria the economic to grow uh in, in internal security in love happiness and harmony the mighty allies have also expressed and uh, 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 imp their impact in nigeria saying that they are people who work with other people and they work well with people evil people among them should be brought to justice and should be dealt with so that's what they've sent out that the governor should bring out those who have done these atrocities and they should be dealt with thanks for stating that out and uh, thank you for i mean for saying that however those who are committing these atrocities and who are saying eh, send the message we know god is watching okay god is actually watching god is really watching listen everybody be careful be very careful don't take a snake to be your friend I know what uh, you, you can understand what that means. When a snake is your friend, it seemingly feels like you are friends. The snake, uh, guess what? <clears throat> a woman one ha once had a python, which was smart. She took it for a pet, you know, uh, she took the python for a pet and she was gradually, one period, this, this python was becoming big and big. After a while, you know, that the very sad python stopped eating. She was worried, you know, all these white people that take uh, this kind of animals for a pet. And she went to the vet and said, ah, this python is not eating uh, for some days. Now, I've given it his best meal, the way he likes it, blah, blah, blah. They even called it a name. Maybe Freddy or so. <laughs> Just a joke, you know. Even got, he said, ah, he's not been eating for some days now. And the, 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 the vet asked, so... What has been going on? Say, well, the coil is around me, comes and just straight out around me and moves away and he just does the normal thing, but he has re refused to eat for some time. The vet said, you know what, eh? If you like yourself, if you want your life, eh? Better dispose of this thing and fast. He's majoring himself on you to see if he can swallow you and you can he can accommodate you in his system cleverly. They did not tell the woman when she got home. 
the Freddy, 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 Freddy. In fact, she did not. She did not get the list of it. She got home. She did not. She told the vet, "Can I dispose him off here?" He said, "No, no. You got him from somewhere. Go and continue from where you guys continue your romance." She went home and immediately she disposed of it. Today, her life is still uh, is still intact. Some other persons did not have it that lucky. Mm, no, no, no. Some other persons did not even care to find out when something is happening around you and is away from the usual. Some people don't even care to pay attention to say, what's going on? Why is this thing like this? You know, this woman was lucky. It was God saving her. And I believe in her lifetime, she will never again go and get a snake for a pet. What are we talking about? This man, the governor of a boy state, led, left his own people, you know, in the hands and the mercy of these very people. ESN Nandikano told them they want to protect the region. Guess what? They went after their people. They've been going after their people, killing them and destroying lives and property. Uh, the people have found out now that your youth, you've eliminated them. Okay? So they are ready for you to come and help you, you know, continue from the destruction where you start. It's the way you take your thing that somebody will, will, will follow that thing with you. If you take your thing and you you come, you you dump your thing, some men that don't respect their wife, talk down on their wife, guess what? Your family members, I beg your pardon, we continue in the same line with you. We told the same line. You'll be amazed the way they would disrespect your wife. You will not believe it. And you are not a very wise person. You're a very foolish one as, as that. And I, I'm, I'm saying it without apology. You know, you're a very foolish one. If you disrespect your husband or your wife, your children in front of other people, that is the way. You've told the other people that this thing is worthless. Why respect it? Why honor it? You know, it is the way you've laid your bed. That's where people will help you uh, continue with it. If you lay it decently, oh yeah, you have people who will honor it. That people, most people are just um, hypocrites. Oh, bless it. Just to let you know. They will do everything in your face, in your presence, to make it look like they are doing something. When you are not there, they will do it the other way. But if you've been respecting and according respect to that thing, they will also find, they will also do it for you the way you want it. But if you go ahead and you begin to tell people or make people feel that, oh, it's not worth it, it's that, that's the way they will take it with you. So a word, they say, is enough for the wise. You know, that's what's happening. A boy state governor has sold his people. And this is what is happening. This is what it is, you see. So you can't just you can't eat you can't sell your cake eh you can't sell it and still have it you either sell it and have it or you know so that's what's happening leave us a comment please don't forget to like us share subscribe God bless you have a lovely and a fantastic day bye for now.